Hello, I am very sorry that it has been a while since my last review, or upload for that matter. So I want to make it up to you guys by doing a sort of new series. It's going to be Daily Tomy Collector Series Sonic Plush Reviews. Try and come up with a better title, please. Please. We're going to be going in chronological order of when the plush is released, so here we have the first plush they released, Classic Sonic. Now, this classic Sonic plush bears a lot of resemblances to the 25th- Oh, come on, really? Okay, so I guess I don't have the original plush with me to compare it to. I do own it, but I just don't know where it is. But this guy bears resemblance to that one, as they should. They're made by the same company. Overall, though, I think the older one was a little bit better. Not just the fact that this one's in a pose, but just some weird design choices they made on him. For instance, the weirdly long spines, even more so than some of their modern Sonic plushes. This guy has long spines. Weird. Also, the head is more like ovally than the original one, which is weird. His limbs are certainly a lot bigger than the original. And also, a weird thing this guy has is a very small nose. That's like a tiny little nose. A lot of other things are really good about this plush. Um, the fur is very fuzzy. That's a good. Um, Everything, it's not metallic, which makes it a little bit more, like, versatile in terms of, like, plush videos and stuff than the original. And the pose is certainly interesting. It's different to see that they tried to capture this specific pose in a plush. I don't know if they did it 100% perfectly. And also, he has six fingers because they just reused the pattern for fists. As you can see here, it's the same pattern for the hand. It's just, there's an extra finger. So they can change it, and this plush is one of the ones that had six fingers. They fixed it early, they fixed it like later in the line, but for now, six fingers on these guys is the way that they're doing it. Overall, if you want a nice looking classic Sonic plush, I mean, this guy is certainly a good way to go. I don't know if many other classic Sonic plushes that are currently on the market as of right now. This guy is certainly cheap. If you need one for like a plush video or something, then yeah, I recommend this guy. But if you have other options, like the original, I'd say go for that one. This one has a few weird qualities, and the pose is hard to use, and it doesn't look the best. Yeah, this is a short review. I don't have much to say on this guy. But I do want to do this series, because I have a lot to say on these plushes, and I think Phil, you guys will probably enjoy them. At least I hope so. And anyway, to watch tomorrow for the next... Epic Sonic plush review. Okay, guys, goodbye.